yeah, I'm gonna get a lot of crap for that. All right, what's up everybody? Welcome to the channel. My name is Alex Bellini, and today we're gonna talk about the one thing that can instantly make your videos more cinematic. Let's get it. Now, in order to make a good video, documentary, short film, Hollywood movie, commercial, whatever, you're gonna need two things. One, the video, of course. And then two, the audio. Unless you're making a silent 50s film, which then I guess you really don't really need the audio because hey, it's gonna hey. be back on track. People are starting to skip. Ah, okay. My bad. Anyway, being a content creator, oftentimes we get caught up in our own shots. As we're going through that sifting process, looking for the best possible clips, sometimes we might get overexcited and we're like, oh, that's a banger shot. Or we're just thinking to ourselves like, man, like I can't believe like I actually captured that. And as you're putting together your video, you're thinking about probably just one thing, the music. You know, what's gonna go great with this? And that is not what I mean by audio when I'm talking about this particular video. No, 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 no. When I talk about audio, I'm talking about the sound design. I'm talking about when your video showcases a beach, put in some additional audio or otherwise known as sound design, put those sound effects into your story so that way the audience can really truly feel what it's like to be there. It can be wind blowing in the air, the trees ruffling up against each other, leaves falling together, the waves and the ocean cracking up against a mountain, car horns blowing if you're in a city, traffic on the interstate, whatever it is, find some sound effects that can portray the ambience of whatever your visual is showcasing. Now that clip that you guys saw at the beginning of this video, I captured all of that on my Mavic Air 2S, which as you guys know, drones don't come with audio and music alone, in my opinion, just wasn't enough. In fact, let's actually go ahead and take a listen of what it sounds like with only the music. Now here's that same exact video, but instead of the music, I'm gonna only put in the sound effects. Didn't that sound so much better than just having music? Now when you have your sound design and you have your music orchestrated and put together into this nice composed piece, that's how you get that cinematic quality video. It's no longer just a video that you threw music to and matched up the beats. Now it has depth. Now it has more for the audience to believe in and to really capture their attention. I added a bunch of different elements and here's actually what that timeline looks like. It doesn't look nearly as crazy as some other people that I have seen. Some people are just really good at sound design. I don't personally at the moment think that I need a full-on uh, laundry list of different sound noises to make a particular scene sound great. In my opinion there are great ambient noises that are out there that really engulf a lot of it already into just one track. But a great way for you to idealize what sounds you think that you'll need is to really just look at your visual and then think to yourselves, what did you hear when you were there? Did you hear birds in the wind? Did you hear somebody honk a horn? Did you hear the tires rolling on the street? Did you hear somebody skateboarding in the background? Did you hear somebody yelling while they were playing basketball or something? What are those sounds that you heard while you were there? And whatever that was, add that to your video. Now, if you're asking yourself, Alex, I have no idea where I can find sound effects. When it comes to music, sound effects, and other types of audio, there are multiple different platforms that are out there like Soundstripe, Epidemic Sound, Artless. IO and Musicbed and all these different websites that can help you out. 
I personally have used Epidemic Sound and Soundstripe in the past, and I'm currently using Soundstripe right now. If you're interested in getting your sound effects where I get mine, you can find the link in the description below. Well, that's all I've got for you guys this video. If you liked the video, go ahead and like and subscribe down below, and leave a comment if you learned something new and or would like to see anything else on this channel. This channel doesn't really have a direction as I'm just kind of putting out some different tips and tricks and fun things that I like to do as a filmmaker. And I've got some nice and exciting videos coming up in the future, hopefully that you guys will enjoy. So I'll be more than happy to try to answer any questions and or film anything that you guys would like to see. All right, until next time, I'll catch y'all later. I personally, um, I've used... Oh, I'm gonna fix that real quick. I don't know how long that was like that. Why didn't y'all tell me? Food. or I don't know if you guys can hear that but I'm just gonna wait